You know, as Africans, we really need to start redefining what we think about illiteracy. If a person cannot speak or read or write in English or in any other European language, they are not necessarily illiterate. If you look at Nigeria, for example, you've got more than 20 million people in Nigeria who can't read or write in anything other than Ajami or Arabic. If you go to East Africa, you've got about 50 million people who only read and write in Swahili. Now, are you going to say that they are illiterate? What we have to do is that our minds in Africa is currently westernized to a large extent, so we need to humanize our minds. We need to understand that the West is not all that it is in terms of education. We have indigenous education, indigenous technology in Africa. Yes, I know that we are not going to be able to catch up with the West in terms of technology, but things have changed. It's not just the West now, we also have the East. So if we want to catch up with technology, what we have to do, we have to steal, beg, borrow from both East and West. So if you go to school, for instance, in the West, maybe in the United States, England, Canada, and you have your first degree, don't be satisfied with that. Go to the East, China, Malaysia, Singapore, and then have your master's. If you school in the East, don't be satisfied with that. Go to the West and then have your master's and PhD. Then come back to Africa. Help build our military industrial complex. Help build our research and development capacity. And then listen, we need to rethink our idea of what we call Juju, Sangoma, Marabu, you know, jazz. Look, there is nothing like that. All of that is superstition. We have to understand that in the past, our ancestors did not understand like maybe this phenomena, so they classified that as wizard, right? We're killing these people. Now, instead of killing someone that you think is a wizard, what you need to do, when somebody does something that is an unexplained phenomena, get this person as a community, give them a pen and paper, write how you did it, right there, that's a science textbook. That's how we're gonna develop our military industrial complex. That's how we're gonna become technologically savvy. Now, this is Rodan thank you for watching, and may God bless you.